Welcome to the 41st lecture of the open course on diffusion in multi-component solids. In this lecture, I shall explain how non-ideality of mixing gives rise to a drift velocity and hence non-ideality of solution can be considered as a, a driving force. Welcome back. In the last class, we have seen how the external driving force gives rise to a drift contribution to the diffusion flux terms. Today, we will see non-ideality of mixing or non-ideality of solution also can be treated as a driving force that gives rise to a drift velocity. So, we will talk about it today. So, for a binary system, we know the flux term has two contributions. So, we can write j equal to minus d dou c by dou x plus c times v. Here, d refers to the diffusion coefficient. So, the first term is basically can be taken as the Fekian term, the contribution because of the concentration gradient and the second term here is the drift term. V here refers to the drift velocity and C is the concentration. Now, we have seen the intrinsic diffusion coefficient d a can be expressed as m a r t phi, where m a is the atomic mobility of a and phi is the thermodynamic factor. which is given as 1 plus dou ln gamma a over dou ln x a. Here, gamma a is the thermodynamic activity coefficient of a and x a is the mole fraction of a in the solution. Now, it should be remembered again, this expression we derived for a binary system. So, here let us say binary a b system and we also assumed that molar volume is constant and also the chemical potential of uh, vacancies is 0 throughout. That is the vacancies are at equilibrium everywhere, that is the assumption. Otherwise, we will need multiple mobility terms. So, if we substitute for phi in the expression for d a, we can write d a is equal to m a r t plus m a r t times dou ln gamma a over dou ln x a and we know d ln x a is nothing but 1 over x a d x a and so this comes out to be m a r t plus m a r t x a dou ln gamma a over dou x a, but m a r t is nothing but d star, where d star is the tracer diffusivity that is the diffusivity under negligible concentration gradient. So, if you write the equation for intrinsic diffusion flux in absence of any external driving force, we can write j a is equal to minus d a dou c a by dou x and if we substitute for d a, we get j a equal to minus d a star dou c a by dou x minus d a star x a times dou ln gamma a by dou x a times dou c a by dou x. Now, x a we know can be written as c a times v m, 
where v, v m refers to molar volume of the alloy. And if we assume molar volume to be constant, then we can replace x a with C a V m term at both places here, here in x a as well as in the d x a term. So, V m V m will get cancelled and we get j a equal to minus d a star dou C a by dou x minus C a times d a star dou ln gamma a over dou x d c a and d c a will get cancelled. and So, we are left with dou ln gamma a by dou x term. Now, if we compare this expression with the first equation that we wrote here, we know that the first term is the Fekian term with the diffusion coefficient as d a star and d a star also refers to the intrinsic diffusion coefficient for ideal solution, because for an ideal solution the thermodynamic factor would be unity and essentially for ideal solution d a is equal to d a star. So, this one we can also think of as an ideal part and the second part is because of the non ideality. So, if we compare with the drift term there we get the expression for drift velocity as v is equal to minus d a star dou ln gamma a by dou x. Now, in an ideal solution we can write from the Nernst Einstein equation v over d a star is equal to f over r t and if we substitute for v we get the expression for driving force f as minus r t dou ln gamma a by dou x. So, essentially this tells me that the gradient in thermodynamic activity coefficient acts as a driving force. Now, how we can explain this physically? So, again imagine the jumps of the atoms as the atom jumps from position a to this position v here. If the solution is ideal, then there are no thermodynamic interactions between the atoms and so the energy after the jump should be same as energy before the jump. If there exists a concentration gradient and we have seen the energy wells can be drawn like this and so the jump frequency in the forward direction should be same as jump frequency in the reverse direction because the activation barrier will be same. But if the solution is non ideal then obviously the activation barrier in the forward and reverse direction are not same because if the chemical potential is decreasing from left to right then the lattice site on the right side will be at a lower potential energy well than the one on the left side. And so, the activation barrier in the forward direction is not same as activation barrier in the reverse direction. And we know here gamma plus would be greater than gamma minus. And because of this differences in the jump frequencies in forward and reverse direction, there will be a drift associated with it. So, essentially the gradient in activity coefficient can be considered as a driving force. So, if the solution is non ideal gamma will change with composition and hence in the presence of concentration gradient gamma will change with the distance coordinate x and it will give rise to a drift term. Okay. So, that is all for today. Thank you.